Paul Rosin has spent 20 years disgusting people. He's been investigating how thoughts and emotions become linked as we grow up. Disgust seems to be about food, and it's about the mouth. The disgust face is around the mouth. And yet I realized pretty early that most of the examples of disgust that we ran into were not about food. There's a, a disgust at touching things that are dead, the disgust at seeing blood or gore. People would say certain kinds of unnatural sex is disgusting. People would say that certain people were disgusting. So the question is, what was the relation between the original food core of disgust and all these other things? It's been a dirty business involving a range of unsuspecting victims and lots of messy foods. Put some ketchup on it. See, like no. that. Now, how would you like to have that? No. I hate banana. Anyone with children knows how quickly they learn what they do and don't like to eat. I don't want to eat that. Would you like to eat that? By three or four, then there's a basic distinction between food and things that shouldn't be eaten. Crayon? No, that's from drawing. Would you like to lick it even? No. How about touching it? No? No. You know what that is? A poopy. That's a that's right, that's a doggy poopy. Would you like to eat that? No. You don't want to eat it? It's yucky. I don't want that. Would you would you touch it? No. Would you eat it? No. Little Cleo, at fourteen months, will try anything once. She will only reject things if they taste bad. And since this is chocolate fun, she's not going to learn that lesson today. So for a, for a one-year-old child who will eat virtually anything in its way, food is just uh, something that's a lump out there that you can taste and either reject or accept depending on whether it tastes good. For a three-year-old already, there's some things that just are not to be eaten. They're not because of their taste only. They seem just inappropriate and offensive. So within a few years, disgust is felt, not just because something tastes bad, but because of more sophisticated ideas we've acquired. For Rosin, one key landmark is the emergence of the concept of contamination. You know what that is? A bug, and I don't want it. No bugs. It's a cockroach. And I'm going to put it on this little spoon and drop it in your juice over there. Um, maybe stir it around a little. <laughs> I'm going to stir it around a little. I'm not going to eat that. Are you going to eat that? No. Why not? Because it's gross. Would you drink some of that apple juice? Yeah, but I can't drink the bug. You don't want to drink that juice? But I don't want to drink the bug. Okay, now suppose I take the cockroach out of the juice. It's pretty easy to identify with the idea that the juice has been contaminated. But we're not born with ideas like that. So when does this association develop? By seven years of age, as we saw with Richard, the juice is still bad after the cockroach is gone. He has a much higher cognitive level of, perception, of perceiving the situation. He is seeing this as the history of the juice. Something was left in the juice, even though it's invisible. Okay, well, watch now. The thought of the cockroach seems to confuse slightly younger children. There he is. Is there legs in it? Is no, it look you in there. There's At four, there. Zach is not keen, now, and he takes a bit of persuading. I'll taste it. Sure you will. Mm. Though they would not eat a cockroach, they found it offensive. They, they were happy to drink the juice after the cockroach was removed. So they still don't have a sense of contamination. And put it on the plate. Now, will you, how about drinking the apple juice now? Yeah. Okay. To an adult, what Eli's doing is disgusting. That's a bedpan. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new bedpan. Never been used for its proper purpose. <laughs> I'm going to take some apple juice now. And I'm going to pour it into the bedpan. Now, would you be willing to pick up the bedpan and drink some apple juice from the bedpan? It's a brand new bedpan. No, we can't do it. Okay, that's fine. 